Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam and I am coming to you today to tell you about my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful new find, Walmart pickup. <laughs> so stay tuned. All right, butterflies, let's jump right in. You know, I am loving Walmart pickup. We've had some bumps, but it's okay. I'm going to tell you about the bumps, but I'm going to also tell you about how I feel like the, the positives outweigh the negatives for me. So Walmart pickup, if you guys are not familiar, you basically go onto their app. Instead of that little blue sign, they've got the little orange sign. And so you go in, it's an app, you click in and you click all of the food that you want. You can save with the little heart and it will stay at saving your favorites. So you don't have to look for that item anymore. So, so I save everything that I um, purchase in my favorites. So I don't have to look through it. I can just stroll through my favorites and see if I need it that particular week. So whether it's bread, I have asked, last time I just went Saturday, when Saturday they got my eye contact solution <laughs> I didn't to go into Walmart for anything because I am a magnet. If it is supposed to leave the store, if it is for sale, it's going to jump in my truck. So I did not want to go into Walmart. So they have gotten me a drinking pitcher before. They have gotten me, like I said, my eye contact solution. Um, there's nothing in the store that you can't get. They'll go ahead and load it up. So what you do is you go in. It's totally free. There's no charge. I tip. They tell you not to tip, but I do because, I mean, come on now. But anyway, um, but you're not obligated to tip. You can say thank you and, you know, be on your merry way. It's not a problem. Um, and they usually tell you no, but I usually make them do it anyway. <laughs> but um, so this is how you do it. You go onto the app. You pick out the items that you want. Because I'm doing every dollar and I'm on a set budget and I'm trying my best to throw as much money as I possibly can to debt, um, this is an easy way for me to know exactly how much I am going to spend. So that is the first wonderful thing that I love about the service. The second thing that I love about the service is you have the option to say that you opt for substitutions or not opt for substitutions. Now, the first time I did it, I didn't opt for substitutions. I unchecked the box and they didn't have the cheese that I wanted. So I got no cheese. So guess what I had to do? I had to pull out of the pickup line after they put my food in there and go back into the store. And if you think I just came out of there with some cheese, you are crazy. No, I didn't come out of there with just some cheese. I came out of there with $20 more worth of stuff. So if I would have just said, hey, I, you know, want substitutions, they're going to make it worth my while. So if you have substitutions, what they do is they go in and say, okay, for instance, let's use a can of mushrooms. If I had a can of mushrooms that was a small can and they didn't have any available, what they do is they give me the bigger can for the same price. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is great. This is great. So let's try this. Maybe we don't have the brand. Now, normally I'll go with the, the great value. It doesn't bother me. Some people don't like generic. It doesn't bother me. Very few times I have found things that I don't like the generic. I don't care. So if I get the great value, going back to mushrooms, and they don't have it, then guess what? If they've got some Libby or some Del Monte or whoever, if they got any other name brand, they're going to give it to me. And nine times out of 10, they're going to give it to me in a bigger size. Or if nothing else, they'll just substitute it for the name brand product. Can't beat that. Okay. If by chance they can't figure out anything to give you, then they just give you a credit on your credit card which is fine. Now, the other thing, which is number three, I don't have to get out my car. I just hit my little button, my trunk comes up, and they load that puppy in there, and it's marvelous. I don't have to move. So those are the three things that I love, 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 love about 
you know, Walmart pickup. However, let me tell you about the bumps. I can't give you the good and don't give you the bad. So there was a couple of times that there were some items missing. Now, the only two times that I know that the items were missing, because I really wasn't paying attention before, I was coming home to make something um, that I had just picked up at the, at the, um, at the grocery store, okay? So because I was getting ready to make it, that was the only thing that made me aware because a lot of times my kids will put up the groceries. So that was the only thing that was making me aware of the fact that I didn't have the items. And there were. It was probably one bag, but it was eight items. Ugh. So I called, I got the manager, and you know they got all the items together. They gave me upgrades. They gave me name brands when I was looking for great value. They tried to make it better. Um, and I don't even know. I was calling about a credit because one of the items they just could not find. And I was trying to make sure that they gave me my credit. And because of the fact that what happened, because I had to explain what happened and why it, you know, it happened that way, they ended up giving me a $10 credit for my next, um, for my next grocery shopping experience. So they do right by you, but you have to make sure that you are checking. So now what I do is once they get, you know, they'll send you a, a um, an update, whether it's text message or email or both and say, hey, your order is ready. So you select the time. It's an hour window. Normally what I do is I'll go ahead and pick up about between six and seven. Sometimes it depends on what I'm doing or noon, which is what I did on Saturday. Um, and you have an hour window. You can text them or hit the check-in button on your way there. Or when you get there, they have the phone number and they'll, you just tell them that you're there and they'll wheel your stuff out. So what I've done now is, is that from the computer, I just print off what my items are and I ask them, as you're loading, can you just call out what you have so that I don't get all the way back home and, you know, I've, you know, got some items missing. But other than that, they haven't had any problems. I adore it. You know, I think the biggest thing that I enjoy the most know exactly how much I'm spending. I'm not overspending. I'm not getting to the cash register and like, oh my God, do I have enough? I know exactly how much my groceries are costing me. I put it into my every dollar app and that's the end of it. The only time that something changes is if they're giving me a refund. That's it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to let you know every time that I upload a video. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know if you've ever used Walmart Pickup or maybe you're interested in using it. So until next time, butterflies, love you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell every time. <laughs> Woo!